Hi, my name is Audrey Thomas, founder of Organized Audrey, and today's Productivity Pointer stems from a conversation that took place earlier today in a closed-door meeting that I was involved in. In this meeting, there were about eight people sitting around a conference room table when the topic came up about email. And a gentleman to my left, who appeared to be in his mid-50s, said something to the effects of, I remember when I started using email and nobody ever taught me how to write a proper email, let alone how to use things like email file folders. And the person sitting across the table from him, about 30 years younger, said, well, if it makes you feel any better, even though I grew up with technology, I've never received any formal training on how to write a proper email or how to use email file folders. So that sparked this conversation about a simple everyday tool that we all use, email file folders. So I thought I would do a really quick review for you here today. And I'm gonna use the acrostic card, C-A-R-D. And after I give this to you, some of you are going to need to go back and take a look at your file folders and apply one or more of these actions. So the first action is consolidate. You may have more than one file folder established right now in which when you go to drag an email, you catch yourself saying, well, it could go into this folder, but could also go into this folder. So take a look at any folders that could be consolidated and rename them if necessary. The second action that you may need to take is archive. You have file folders of projects that have long been finished. You no longer access them, you don't need them on a day-to-day -day basis, and they need to go into your archival system. If you don't know how to archive, ask somebody in your office, because every IT department sets up their archiving just a little differently. So ask about how to archive a folder. The third action is rename. Some of you created a file folder in haste at the beginning of a project, but as that project moved on and has morphed, it's morphed into something else. And so you simply need to rename it. So all you have to do is right click on that folder name, click the rename option, and type the new name. And the fourth action is D, stands for delete. You may come across folders that are completely empty. You created them with really good intentions, but you never ended up using them. In that case, just right click and delete and get rid of them. So I hope that you have enjoyed this productivity pointer brought to you by Organized Audrey, where our goal is to help you get more done with less stress. Make it a great day.